We cannot deny the fact that how crucial is the role of fighter jets in winning the war, or just protecting a country's sovereignty. And it was evident from World War II that wars of the future were going to be fought and won in the skies. And likewise we have to save the fighter jets from being smoked so easily by the opposition. And the best way to do that is by use of camouflage, which every tiny country will think of. But the color to be chosen for camouflaging was decided from failures in the world wars and decades of testing. So in today's feature let's quest into the reason how our aircraft camouflaged in general, and why US fighter jets are painted in grey and Russian jets are painted blue in particular. Before we begin, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. As you know, in past military aircraft demonstrated their dominance over the battlefield in World War II for the first time, and it was evident then that wars of the future were going to be fought and won in the skies. The role of combat aircraft during key strategic battles, and eventually the whole war was crucial towards the victory of Allied forces. Not so long after the end of World War II, we saw rapid technological advancement in aviation, and therefore the next generation of military aircraft were put in service by air forces around the globe. Since World War II, combat military aircraft have come a long way, and we are now witnessing the fifth generation of these lethal combat machines being operated by several countries. However, when we analyze these aircraft visually, their gray paint schemes have stayed consistent for decades. This may lead us to the inevitable question, why are military U.S. aircraft gray? Some United States Army Air Forces aircraft used a variation of the British camouflage schemes, which was the mixture of various shades of green color on top and gray color at the bottom. But the difference in U.S. was most aircraft did not use multiple shades on the top side of the aircraft. Instead, most were camouflaged in olive drab above, and neutral gray below, though some had the edges of flying surfaces painted in medium green. But, in the later stages of the war, camouflage was often dispensed with leaving aircraft in a natural metal finish. This dual-color camouflage was called counter-illumination, which is a method of active camouflage seen in marine animals, such as firefly squid and midshipman fish, to protect itself from its predator. And in military prototypes, this was first adopted in project named Ehudi Lights by United States, where producing light to match their backgrounds in both brightness and wavelength was the motive. However, this cannot be taken as a rule because some countries utilize different paint schemes for their military aircraft depending upon their combat roles, geographical placement, and strategic philosophies. The gray camouflage was the least distinguishable against the terrain, the hazy sky, or the blue waters of the ocean, which suits the United States. But, when it comes to Russia, the case is totally different. So guys, have you wondered why Russian Air Force maintains a fleet of Sukhoi Su-34 and MiG-29 which are covered in dark and light blue camouflage? It's all because of the topography. Let me explain. The Russian Air Force has significant operational presence in the Baltic and other similar snow-covered regions to its east. The dark and light blue camouflage may therefore be justified as they are flying on a terrain that has either glaciers or frozen white lakes. Because if you have a top view of the north, you'll observe the whole area to be lightest blue, rather than white, and it's all due to the reflection of the lakes and glaciers. But wait, why look the area from the top when movies and series makes your work easy? You know what I mean. To have more clear idea, imagine you are looking at a bright gray fighter jet from above, against the terrain. It will be identified in a moment, because it appears as a black dot on a piece of white paper. However, note here, not all military aircraft in the world are painted in gray, or blue camouflage. Take for example, several militaries in the Gulf area, including Saudi Arabia. Israeli and Jordanian Air Forces maintain a fleet of light and dark brown camouflaged aircraft. Considering the terrain they operate on, which is mostly brown desert dunes or mounds, the dark and light brown camouflage enables them to dive down once detected by enemy aircraft and effectively merge with the terrain. Hence you see it all depends on the operational requirements and the geographical constraints of different military forces. However, there is one exception black camouflage on US reconnaissance SR-71 Blackbird airplane. It has been widely reported that during the development of F-117 Nighthawk, 
it was designed with gray camouflage. However, the U.S. Air Force specifically requested Lockheed to have it painted black because they intended to field these aircraft only in night operations. Similarly, the SR-71 Blackbird as its name suggests, was painted black partially because the stealth paint available during the era of its development was black. So, hope the question of aircraft camouflage has been answered. Now enough of fighter jets, let me ask you a question. Do you know why US President's aircraft is called Air Force One? If you don't then watch the video popping up. And until then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And signing off in the words of the channel, if you don't know, then now you know.